I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you are going to learn something today. Today, I'm going to show you this spreadsheet. Yay, spreadsheets! You love spreadsheets as much as I do, right? <laughs> this spreadsheet is a list that one of my patrons has compiled of the low ESR capacitors on the market today. And here's why low ESR capacitors are so important. If you have any video noise, a low ESR capacitor or capacitors installed on your system can absolutely clean it up. If you have electrical noise that's manifesting as a video noise, it can also be corrupting your motor signals and causing things like desyncs in extreme circumstances. And just in general, it's good to clean up the noise on your system. Uh, I'm going to show you a video right now of a particular copter I had uh, this, the copter is the Shuriken X1, but I don't want you to draw too many conclusions. This thing has been beat up. It's not factory new, and it doesn't reflect the quality of the Shuriken X1. It, but it was super, super noisy. I was having problems with electrical noise. Uh, and I want to show you the difference that a, a 1000 UF capacitor on the battery lead didn't fix it. And then some 330 UF capacitors on each individual ESC. Well, take a look at what a difference it made. Pretty big difference, huh? For those of you who are having video noise and you're thinking, should I install an LC filter? Well, personally, I would go the other direction. I would put one of these 330 UF capacitors on uh, each of the ESCs. It, in every case where I've tried it, it's made, it's just completely cleaned up the system. And the 330 UF capacitors are not that big. By the way, I'm saying, I know I'm driving some of you crazy because I'm saying UF instead of microfarads. I know it's not a U, let it go. But in order to make this work, you need a low ESR capacitor. And it's not always easy to tell which capacitors are low ESR. And then the other thing is you want to find one that's uh, got a good, it's got, that is small. You don't want one that's too big or too heavy. And so what this person has done is they've gone through and they have found all the low ESR capacitors and they have uh, given you their size. So that's nice. And their impedance. So you can go through and you can pick one of these that'll really work for you. Here's the 1000 microfarads, here's the 470s, and here's the 330s. And like I said, even a 330 installed on the ESC makes a massive difference. A uh, 1000 on the battery on the battery leads makes some difference, but I'd, I'll take a 330 on the ESC any day. How can you buy these? Well, what I like to do is go to Digikey, digikey.com. I shop from Digikey. You can also go to Mauser. Uh, Mauser is good as well. The difference for me between DigiKey and Mauser is that DigiKey will ship uh, via first class US mail and Mauser only ships, I think, via priority mail. At least this used to be the case years ago when I switched to DigiKey. I don't know if it's changed. Uh, the and what that means is that when you buy, you know, $3 worth of capacitors, you don't have to pay $7 in shipping. You can only pay like $3 in shipping. Uh, so that's why I shop at DigiKey, but Mauser is also good. You could also probably find these same things if you were to do a little, uh, you know, you could look on Alibaba and stuff, but uh, at least I know when I buy from DigiKey that I'm getting, I'm getting the actual product and buying from Amazon or, or Alibaba or something, maybe you're not getting a legit Panasonic uh, capacitor. And this is a case where you don't want to take a chance on getting uh, a, a not the actual thing you're paying for because the performance really is different. Panasonic capacitors, for example, are just, they're freaking great and you want legit Panasonic capacitors. So you're going to go through and let's say we decide we want a Panasonic FR series capacitor. Well, I mean, I haven't, I haven't prepped this or rehearsed it, but let's just see. Panasonic FR capacitor. Fingers crossed. And let's see, we're going to be looking at, bingo, aluminum capacitor. There we go. See, I told you I hadn't rehearsed this. And here is the Panasonic FR series. You can see right here, FR1E471B. And then what we can do is we can just look for what we want. So let's say we want a 330UF microfarads, apply filters. 
and let's say we want it rated for 25 volts, apply filters, and bingo, here's the capacitor that we're gonna buy. And we want it in bulk. When you buy from these guys, you, you don't wanna buy tape in box, that's for, that's for mass production. You don't want cut tape, that's for mass production. You want bulk, which you're just gonna get loose capacitors. So then we're just gonna go and click on that part number, and we're gonna add a couple of them to our cart. Bingo, there you go, I just bought some capacitors. Um, Invalid part number. Well, I didn't buy some capacitors. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe you have a couple things to jump through. But that's basically how you do it. You find the capacitor you want. You go search for it on DigiKey or Mauser or anywhere else. And bingo, there you go. Thanks to the patron of mine who compiled this list. This list is accurate as of today. It'll probably continue to be accurate for a while because it's not like these capacitor series change too often. But uh, if you're looking for a low ESR capacitor, this is the definitive list of, of which ones you should be looking at. Uh, it's often hard to tell which one's a low ESR and which one isn't. And this is the, this is hopefully help you out. Thanks for watching. And as always, happy flying.